name is Sargent and I'm going to show you how to do a podcast. A podcast comes from two words, iPod and broadcasting, which is a method of creating digital MP3 audio files, which can then be played back on an MP3 player or on your own personal computer. To create a podcast on your computer, you need three things. A podcasting program, the one I'm going to demonstrate today is a program called Audacity, which you can download for free from ConnectingEducation.com. Also, you need a microphone which you plug into the pink socket, and you need a headset, which you plug into the green socket. Podcasts are easy and fun to create. They can contain voice, music, and even sound effects. Here is an example of a podcast created by a colleague showing some of the effects that you can do. Man, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Man, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Man, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Man, these pretzels Man, are making me thirsty. Man, making me thirsty. Man, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Man, these pretzels are making me thirsty. Notice that all the effects are done with the same voice recording. What has changed is the pitch of the voice, the speed, um, the way the voice echoed, and music and sound effects. This podcast can be saved as an MP3 file, which means it can be put on a web page, emailed, or even put on an iPod. At school, you can create many different types of a podcast. You can do a play, a debate, you can read a poem, you can play your own music, do a newscast, you can do oral French assignments that both your teacher and classmates can listen to. I am now going to the computer to actually do a podcast. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a podcast. The first thing you do is find the Audacity icon on your computer. Click on it. Alright, this is the screen that comes up. So, what this is, is a digital recorder. Let's look at the buttons. If you look over here, this will skip the recording to the beginning. This is the play button. This is the record button. This is pause. This is stop. And if you press this, it will skip to the end of your recording. Okay, let's start by just recording something. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Okay, let's listen to that. We'll skip to the start and we'll hit play. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. There we go. All right. Now, the second thing we can do is we can add some effects. One way of doing that is by listening to the same thing over and over so you can tell the difference. Let's just copy this. So we go to File and go to Edit and go to Copy. There we go over here and we're going to paste it in. Now, notice there's a big pause between the two. Let's get rid of that. All right, highlight it and then just hit your delete button. There we go. Okay, for the second part, let's add some sort of effect to it just to make it a little more interesting. Here is the effect up here. You press it and you have a whole bunch of options. Let's change the pitch. There we go. And let's, I've always wanted to know what would my voice would sound like a little lower. Let's bring her down. Excellent. Okay, let's listen to the whole thing. Skip to the start and hit play. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Excellent. Okay, let's do one more time. So, what we will do is we will cut again, well, we'll copy the first section again hit edit, hit copy, and then we'll bring it over. Put it right there, and we will come up with another effect. Let's paste it in, great. Now, the effect we'd like to do now is let's try an echo. All right, let's skip to this, okay, let's skip to the start, just hit okay. All right, and there we go. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going Today, to teach you how I'm to do a podcast. How to do a podcast. Okay, excellent. Now, let's go and import some music to make this a little more interesting. Go to Project, Import Audio. And we already have a file in place. However, when you do this, you can download your own music. Let's try this song here called School Days. Open it. 
Oh, it's bringing it in. It's importing it. Excellent. Now, you'll notice there's two bars here. Don't be concerned by that. It's just the music is in stereo. Now, a couple things you notice is it is too long. So let's go get rid of that tail end of that. So just highlight it and hit delete. Great. Now let's go back to the beginning and let's listen to what it has to say. Oh, okay, you're going to notice that the music is way too loud. So let's turn it down. And also I think it'd be nice, that should do it. And towards the end, if we had a little bit of a fade out, that'd be a nice effect. So just take the little tail in there, go to effect, down to fade out. Great. And let's do a little bit of a fade in. So highlight the first little part, effect. So the music has a smoother transition. All right, let's see what this all sounds like. Skip to the beginning and hit play. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going Today, to teach you how to do a podcast. How to do a podcast. Great. Now we have music and we have our vocal. Well, what might make it even more interesting is if we added a sound effect. Now, I don't know about you, but I thought it sounded kind of funny when my voice was low. So it'd be kind of interesting maybe to have a little bit of laughter there. So let's go to our um, project and import more audio, but this time it's going to be a sound effect. So let's go to crowd laugh. Open that, and now we have a fourth bar. Now, the first time I say it, it's pretty normal, um, and so that a laugh doesn't, isn't really appropriate there. It's for the second place, so we're going to need to move it. So we're going to use this little tool here. This is my mover tool. Put that there. Oh, let's move her over. Now, we want it just after I start talking, or the laughter's not really going to make sense. Let's put it right there. Okay, let's start at the beginning, and let's see how it all sounds. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Okay, now we have it all set up. Let's save this. Um, now, before we do that, though, I think maybe the volume of the laugh, we could bring it down just a little bit. There, that should be just fine. Now, go to File, and... Save project. All right. All right. And we are going to save it as podcast test. We will save it. Okay. I've now created a podcast. However, if I want to email it to someone or put it on a web page, it needs to be in an MP3 file. This is how you do that. Go up to your file and go to export as mp3. Right. Now I want to call it podcast test. I'm going to save that. Now Audacity needs to use another program in order to create an mp3 file. It is called lame DLL. So I would like to for it to find it. So I hit yes. You only have to do this once. The next time you do this it's already done. I want to there it is there. So I open. Okay, and now I want to call, call it a title. So I'm going to call it podcast test. And I'm the one who did it. So I'm going to put my name. All right, and we are all set. Now it is currently exporting the project as an MP3. Now we've exported the project as an mp3 file and we're ready to listen to it. Go into your files and we will see what we've created. Today I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today I am going to teach you how to do a podcast. Today, I am going Today, to teach you how to do a podcast. How to do a podcast. Here's our podcast completed. So, that is the information that you will need to create your own podcast. I hope you enjoy it.